what's up everybody welcome back to my channel um today i'm going to be transforming my parents back patio well back porch my parents are currently on vacation so i'm house sitting for them and out of boredom i want to redo one of their rooms and hopefully when they get back they love it and they don't kill me for messing with their back porch so let's go their back porch um it doesn't look like terrible or anything it's just cluttered just has a lot of things in it like okay there's something for a baby over there because you know they have grandkids not mine my brothers um there's three bikes back here that are just in the way you have this random um garden soil just sitting on the middle of the floor you know it needs to be swept and just little things like that so i think i'll be rearranging things and just um well, I'm not going to be spending much money because I ain't got that much spending money anyway. And they're not here to be providing me with the money. So, yeah. So, basically, I'm just going to be rearranging stuff. Um, you know, cleaning up and just seeing what I can do without money. This should be fun. So I started off by removing all of the furniture so I could sweep and mop the floor. It was a little difficult to get around and under the furniture with it in there, so I just decided to put it all on the patio to make it much easier on myself. That plant had a lot of water in it, so I was not trying to pick it up. Um, however, you know, I got tired of sliding it with my foot. But this bar, you guys, oh my Jesus. This is a two per it was a two person job to move that thing, but clearly I was all I had was me, myself, and I, so you know, gotta do what you gotta do. You guys, that was a lot of dust, dirt, and pollen on that floor and all up in the air and all up in my face. Like, the next time I do something outdoors, I will definitely have a face mask on. Now, if you live in South Georgia like we do and you get as much pollen as we do, you know that that stuff does not discriminate. It gets the floors, the furniture, the wall, the windows, and everything else in between. So, you guys, I had to sweep, mop, and wipe down everything. So, Mother Nature was just not my friend during this project because it rained almost the entire time. Instead of just, you know, spraying them down and spraying them off with the hose like I wanted to, I had to do all this manual labor. Now, <laughs> I was cleaning one of these chairs, and you can't see it because I got the time lapse on, but a spider jumped out from the chair, and I, my light flashed before my eyes, y'all. After that, I didn't care that it was drizzling outside. I took them other two items, that table and that last chair, I took them outside in that drizzling rain, sprayed them with something, and sprayed them down with the hose because I don't mess with spiders. I don't like spiders, no. So now we're at my favorite part where I get to finally start moving the furniture around. So this bar is like those decorative boxes that people have in their houses that they use to hide all the items they don't want you to see. Now, before I moved it, it was right by the main entrance. So one of the first things you saw was all the stuff on the back of it. Don't nobody want to see all that when they come onto the back porch. So I moved it over there in front of the wall where there ain't no entrance. And I think it looks great up under that little wall candle holder thingy. So at first I wasn't quite sure if the seating area was still going to fit there after moving the bar, but luckily the area left open for the seats was just big enough. You 
so here are a few items that I'm going to be spray painting. Uh, I think I'm going to spray paint this black. Yes, yeah, the black next to it. This is going to be gold. Um, and this is going to be brown. I wanted it to be um, gray, but I don't have any gray spray paint and I'm not trying to spend money. Yeah. So that's where I'm at right now. I'm about to run to the dollar store. About to run to the dollar store so I can get some supplies. You know, like some fake flowers and things like that. You know, something to kind of give color, spruce it up a little bit without breaking the bank. I was trying not to spend money, but looks like I'm going to have to because I don't, I don't know. Unless I can find some fake flowers that are already in their house. So after visiting the dollar store, I decided not to spray paint that pot, but to instead make a faux succulent plant. Just wanted to give you a sneak peek real quick, you know, because here it is. Here I am, baby. Okay, never mind. But, um... That used to be here, and this used to be over there in the corner. That blue stool over in the corner used to be right here. I think the bench and the chairs were switched around, so, you know, just did a little something, something up in here, but I'm not done. Look what I found in their garage. This beautiful chair and table set was covered with dust and cobwebs when I found it, and I thought it would look great cleaned up and placed on the back porch. And then I just styled it with my DIY succulent plant and some magazines. Tell the people how you like your new back porch. I absolutely love it. I can see myself sitting out here having my coffee now and reading. This is wonderful. I love it. Thank you, Michael. So it was a good surprise. Very good. Okay. Very pleasant. That was, makes me very happy. Because I was very nervous. <laughs> Especially since I didn't really get permission. <laughs> it's wonderful. I haven't sat out here in years. Wow, I had such an impact on my mommy. <laughs> I'm glad you like it. Thank you. So my plans did change a little bit. Um, at first I wasn't going to spend any money because I did not have any money to spend. However, this project took about 60 bucks to complete. Um, I spent nine and some change at the dollar store to you know, do some little decor pieces here and there and then when my parents got back my mom and I went out the day after and we bought these lovely pillow cushions that I'm sitting on right now because the um the old ones they just weren't cushion-y enough so what do you think of the makeover let me know down in the comments but as always if you haven't subscribed already make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit the little bell next to it so you can get notified every time I upload and give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.